take care of that lonely ass. What the fuck is wrong with you, Tanya? Ain't nothing wrong with me, nigga. Shit. Well, your ass don't look too good. Where the fuck is JB? Smoking. And what about you? I mean, you know, I quit. You know what I'm saying? Almost. Yeah, whatever. JB, look, JB gonna lose everything. He gonna lose the house. You know what I'm saying? The business, everything. And you his cousin, nigga. You said you was gonna he help. He ain't my cousin. Whatever, if that's how you feel. What the fuck do I know about touring cars? Look, it's easy. If JB can do it, you can do it for fuck's sake. Come on, I'ma show you. Come on, shit. All right, then. Shit. Shit, that's win everything. Hey, look, let's make this quick. I got shit to do. Nigga, you need to slow it down. Tanisha was right. Where your wheels at? All right, shit, where we going? Trucks at the Davis Sheriff Impound. Oh, man, how did I get dragged into this? We both know you always been sweet on me. <laughs> shit, Franklin Clinton. Shit, your ass must be high or something. I told you, I don't do that shit no more. I mean, I baby doze now and again just for the taste. But I'm doing good, boo. Your eyes don't lie. Whatever you say, girl. Come on. Let's go bring the cha-ching, homie. We filling in for JB. Uh, copy that. Uh, hi, Tanya. Car's a junker. Been there for days. 10-7. I'm gone. A bucket. This one should be easy. Shit, not easy enough for JB to drag his ass out of whatever crack house he laying in. His loss, yo gain, sugar. Except I ain't gaining shit, sugar. Move that seat back, and you know I'll make it right for you. That ain't what I'm saying. Damn, Tanya. What the fuck happened to you? Okay, I've seen JB do this a hundred times. Back up close, make sure the hook so is down, high. and it should slide right in. Aye, right, baby. Back it up nice and steady. Okay, we are in, baby. Let's get this back to the lot. Hey, this was not how I saw my day going. So I ain't seen you around the hood much? I've been trying to branch out. Can't stay in Chamberlain Hills forever. Oh, nigga got airs now. I remember you before you was a wannabe when you just was. And I remember you and JB before y'all was dopey. Shit changed. You the one all turfed up? JB smoking, but he ain't smoking homies. He out here grinding, towing cars, paying bills. For real? Because I could have sworn it was me out here towing cars for him. And looking damn fine doing it too, baby. OK, we make the drop where they got the areas marked. They get real finicky when we don't leave it in the right place. What the hell is going on? Give mama what she wants. Okay, you got it. Release that baby. I'll see you on the block. Anything you need, you holler at me. Look the fuck out! We're gonna get it! Oh, we have your world famous Hey, Man, boo! I knew you 
couldn't stay away. I'ma fuck you up. Hey, come back. Tanya, do you ever clean your raggedy bitch ass up? Fuck you, Lamar. I mean, Franklin or whatever. Everybody on the block knows you gonna vine wood and shit. Well, shit, if going vine wood means I ain't hitting the pipe like 1992, then shit, I'm guilty as charged. Punk ass. What? Bitch ass. Excuse me? <laughs> Look, I'm sorry, but where's your love for the hood? JB ain't doing good. He needs help. We need your help, nigga. We gonna lose everything. All right. Shit. What do I gotta do? Same as before, boo. A little help with the tow truck. Nothing for a real man like you. All right. You just get yourself together. Your ass done went crazy. To me, Franklin Clinton, I ain't so cracked out I don't remember that night behind the burger shop. Not this again. What, we was like 13? But you was a man after that night. Damn, every time... ...with this shit, and nothing even happened. It's all good, baby. I know that wound ain't healed. Hey! That's our truck. You know the drill. you got? 10-4. We got an SUV in a handicapped spot without a sticker. It's a lucky plucker in Little Soul. Do you copy? You know I don't copy. I'm an original. <laughs> yeah, we got you. JB still sick. Man, you sure you need me? Because you look like you know what you doing. One, I can't drive. And two, this ain't no work for a lady. Look out. This ain't no work for a lady. Oh, you really fighting the feminist cause there, ain't you, Tiny? Like your aunt, you mean? I saw her fake jogging the other day, chanting some whacked out nonsense. That bitch is crazy. Yeah, that we can't agree on. And I got qualifications, honey. Like hell you do. I got a certificate in cosmology. You never seen my nails. What, you going into space now? You always did think you were so clever. Remember Davis High? You didn't learn shit at that school. <laughs> and you got your math on the corner in David. That's whack. Let's move it out. This ain't a job for making new friends, is it? I thought you'd been into some repo work. Yeah, that's true. Same shit, but nicer cars. It's an honest dollar, and there ain't many of those around. An honest dollar that I ain't seen yet. Man, JB need to get his head straight. JB's going through a hard time. A hard time sitting on his ass smoking crack? I gotta keep his hours up. Word is they gonna sell the business. A new owner ain't good news for the drivers with no papers. JB sold his social for a piece two years back. I see the problem, but I just don't see that as mine. You too good to cover a brother now? I'm here, ain't I? I've been covering that brother for 20 years.
drop it in the marked area. Same as before, honey. You sure you ain't been smoking? I'll make it up to you, Franklin. You know I will. See you round. What's going on now? JB, niggas gone AWOL, baby. I don't know what to do. Is he ever not AWOL? He's bad, Franklin. Got his claws in deep this time. They're on to him, leaving messages, saying he gonna get cut. You ain't gonna let a sister starve. Look, man, I'm not gonna let that happen, all right? Now leave it with me. can handle that. 10-4. Put the hammer down. Glad you showed up. Any chance you could take me to a mechanic so I can get that death trap fixed? That's a bad place to break down. Yeah, it started spluttering at the crossing. Then the engine just cut out. Damn car, foreign trash. I've told my wife a hundred times. But she's like, oh no, Phil, you can't say that. Not anymore. She'll soon change her tune when she finds out I nearly died. All this fancy eco crap they put in cars now. We never asked for it. We never signed that treaty. A mile less to the gallon, and maybe I wouldn't have ended up on top of the train tracks. I'm at a loss for words. Could have fooled me. Makes a nice change, though, to get towed for a good reason. Normally, I'd be cussing you out. You know, asking you how you sleep at night. I'm sure you would, man. You been in the business long? Uh, I ain't exactly in the business. Just helping out a friend, dawg.
Okay, thanks again. That could have been much worse. If it ain't the finest man in South L.S. You can tell J.B. I did his work for him again. I will, boo. Soon as he wakes up. Sound messed up. Nah, I kicked the pipe. JB too. For real this time. Can you cover one more job, boo? Just till he get out of the sickness. Ah damn it. Okay, last time. Take that. Ten four. Copy that. Clear after you. Took your sweet time. I had traffic backed up for half a mile at one point. Just get me to a mechanic. I still don't have time for this right now. Seriously unacceptable response time. I'm just saying. Shit, you can get out and walk if you don't like it. 
Whoa, simmer down, buddy. I'm not blaming you, per se. You're just the little man. Darn it! I know that. I'm just saying, there has to be accountability. Not at the drudge level, but up top. I keep posting negative reviews online, and it's like nobody reads them. I know they don't. I get daily stats. You know, I've been towed three times in the last month, and the quickest response was 47 minutes. I'm just saying, maybe they need a new system. Or maybe you need a new car. Like I say, I'm not blaming you. My problem's with the mule driver, not the mule. Enough. Enough. All right, you need to shut the hell up, homie. Well, we made it. I won't mention you on the complaint form. Franklin, what's cracking? Not your ass, I hope. I covered that job, all right? Now stay off the rock. You feel me? I'm high on life now, baby. It's a new dawn. cleaned yourself up yet, Tanya? What the fuck is wrong with you? You said it was all good on the phone the other day. I was, and, you know, I did. I was clean. That's why you didn't really see me around for a bit, but... JB, man, the smoking is real bad. Real, real bad. I had a few days. But you ain't clean now. Exactly, okay? And now your ass gonna lose every fucking thing unless I help you, right? I heard this shit before. JB ain't doing so good. JB ain't well. JB's your cousin. He ain't my fucking cousin. Look, your mama smoke, nigga. You know what it's like. Don't you have a heart? I don't have much of a heart. But by doing this, I don't have much of a brain either. I love you, Franklin. I mean, I don't know what you want me to say. JB appreciate all you doing. Just one more job with me, and I promise this is gonna be the last time. It better be. Now bring your ass on. Come on. You wanna hit? Hell no. Nah. What happened to you, Tanya? You, you used to be a good girl. Even good girls need some sugar on their cereal. Days get long on the block. You know how it is. No, I don't know how it is. Why don't you get out the hood? Away from JB. I love that. I love that nigga, man, but he bad news. What, like you? Like Tanisha? Find me some rich lawyer or doctor. That ain't real. Hey, Maybe JB ain't going places. But you know who he is? If he went his ass to work, that'll be a start. I Show me how good you got since last time. We got it. Copy that, vehicle 29. Driver's badly injured. Phone box on the scene. Carney's moving to the nearest auto shop. 10-7. 10-7, 4 Tanya don't talk numbers, baby. Unless you talk in 420, then we got a date. Uh, 10 -1. You're breaking up. Over and out. Man, ain't this like the fifth time? Ain't there any other fools out there you can guilt trip into working for no pay? You in the groove now, Franklin. And you and JB was homies before you had hair on your mouth. Yeah, so you keep telling me. I still remember that time your grandpa caught you and JB slinging cigarettes. <laughs> Chased you all over South LS. <laughs> yeah, man, shit, that was a good hustle while it lasted. 
You still kicking it with that shit, Taco Lamar? Oh yeah, shit, I'm stuck with that fool forever. We didn't have much, but we did it right on Form Drive. job of your own. Come on, Tiny. I told you, you better than that. Don't get all high and mighty. You know different. You ain't afraid to use what you got to get paid. Man, what are you talking about? I heard about you rent boying on the side, selling yourself. What? That's what people are saying. You know Sharonda's cousin, Kiera's nephew, Deontay? Skinny kid with the big head? They call him golf club. No, I don't know Sharonda's cousin, nephew. He saw you with a rich white boy. I ain't judging. <laughs> I mean, we all got bills to pay. Man, that's so messed up, I don't even know where to start. Crackhead ass grapevine, really outdone they self this time. Clearly you do better without me getting you all hot under the collar. That should do it. Can you give me a ride back to the yard? Like I don't got nothing else better to do than drive your ass around. He gets back on his feet. Yeah, I heard that one before. We'll get some drink, get some smoke, get some good food, do it right. Me, you, JB, Tanisha, if you want. Now that ain't happening. Okay. You, me, JB, and that clown Lamar Davies, old school. If you ain't too busy rent boying, that is. <laughs> well, fuck you. Jesus! You solid, Franklin. Thanks again, baby. Don't be a stranger. Yeah, we just did your work for you again. How does that make you feel? Good. It makes you feel good, so you're fine with your woman out here with another man earning your money for you. I know, but I'm functional, baby. That's the difference. You don't even pull your pants down to piss no more. And where's my wedding? We'll be honeymooning on Mission Roadway, things are going. So you keep saying, only ring I've had my finger in stank of your lazy ass. Yeah, well, you need to get your head straight. I ain't waiting around forever. When I said don't be a stranger, I didn't mean like right now. Who you calling a bitch? I don't let any man call me out of my name. Desperation ain't attractive on a man. The answer's no. I can't holler at my boy now? Thought you might want to know, being a high roller and all, they finally put the towing company up for sale. You know the business can make you some good paper. 
And you can keep JB on as a driver when he gets his head straight. Shit, I think about it. You don't want to be her father. What? That crazy motherfucker Lamar hasn't got you killed yet? No, not yet. He must be slacking. He's always slacking. He's a fool, bro. Yes, sometimes. Anyway, talking to fools, what would you say if I told you some fools I knew were running a little racing competition? And as luck would have it, they got this really beautiful silver medal with your name on it. I say go fuck yourself. Bronze medal then? <laughs> Look funny, motherfucker. That motherfucker. Hey, 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 whoa, back off there, cowboy. I know my constitutional rights. Anyway, I know you're coming here to suck cock, so it's all right. What the fuck you talking about? Wow, well, hey, look, I saw a quarterback blues, man. And, you know, some of those older records of yours, even they sound a little bit closeted, I'm just saying. What? A black man walking in vine would you think he Clay PG sellout? You bitch-ass punk oh. motherfucker. Oh, shit, man. Oh, hey, I'm sorry, dude. I didn't, didn't have my, my contacts in, you know? I mean, I love black people. Yeah, you know, like, uh, like... I love gangsters. I love, like, gangster rap. Yo, sup? Man, Boom. who gives a fuck if he's gay or not, man? The man is not married. It's his business. 
Leave motherfuckers alone. Well, look, I'm, I'm just saying that, that it's uh, it's the hypocrisy that I can't stand. You know, I mean, of celebrities. I mean, PG, right? He, he, he says he, he's a killer and a murderer and all that great stuff. And then, what, he, he loves his mother and likes show tunes. I mean, really, what kind of message is that sending our kids? You know what I'm saying? The guy's a fraud. But why do you care, man? Well, yeah, because, you know why? Because they all think they're gods, right? Well, fuck them. Fuck them! Fuck them! Fuck them! Fuck! Them. Fuck them! They're not magic! No, no, they're no better than me! They're no better than me! Shit! Oh shit! Oh my god, it's Miranda! Miranda, I love you, Miranda! Come on! Come on, it's fucking Miranda fucking Cowan! Because she's a fucking megastar! No, no, leave me out your shit, man! Oh no, no, no! We, we can make vocal bucks here, man! We get one picture of, of her of her hairy legs or her aging muff, and we are in the money, man! In the money, bro! Come on! Come on, man! Come what on! What the fuck is wrong with me? Let's go! You drive, I'll get the shot! Go, go! Get us right up alongside that limo! Come on, come on! Let me see the whites of her ass! This whole town's in therapy. Home wrecker! Hey, here, 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 here! You bitch! We done yet? No, she still looks too good. I want the prisoner of war shot. That's where the big zeros are. Don't bring her off the road, man. Crusaders of truth, my friend. Man, we're two creepy-ass stalkers on a motorcycle. He's a goddess. Or... Fuck you, Beverly! This one's mine! Oh, no, no! It's that bottom feeder, Madison! Shit, he's getting the money shots! Where's your dignity, man? Forget Miranda, we can't let him steal my exclusive! Get alongside him, I'll knock the weasel off! Stay on that bastard! What is wrong? Oh yeah, I downloaded your pictures to the fucking road, Madison! Now grow up and get a boy's name! Okay, buddy, let's get out of here. I'm already late for another stakeout. There's a small parking lot by the Cafe Redemption Courtyard in Morningwood. All right, homie, it's been an education, dawg. Look, keep on making the world a better place, you hear me? Yeah, the public needs to know. The fans deserve answers. Shit, not if the question is how low is Miranda Cowan's muff hanging or if she getting banged out by some second-rate director? They need to know everything, from crow's feet to camel toes. Hey, 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 come by the manor next week. We'll continue the search for the truth. Look, don't wait around for me, homie. Oh, I'm waiting for you, homie. You know what? If you thought it was incredible getting a shot of that aging trout the other day, you just wait till we get a picture of Poppy Mitchell getting a dirt box, man. Beverly, good to see you. No, seriously, dude. Dude, it is a backdoor bonanza with that bitch's concerns. Ah! America's newest sweetheart? Man, she likes cotton candy and puffy. Yeah, and getting in the bunghole. Ah! No, no, seriously, dude. 
one shot at that dirty little slut monkey, and we're in the money, homie. We're in the money! Uh, and who says America is going to hell? Well, not me! I... <laughs> Come on, let's move! Now, remember, dude, this is a covert op. We need to blend in, ninja style. Follow my lead, confident but forgettable. From here on out, we're ghosts. Yeah, me and you, we ain't gonna stand out. At all. Shh, you blow our cover. This should be fucking interesting. I can hear someone. Stay close and play it cool. What do you want me to do? I'm at work. Just change this diaper. It's not that hard. I don't care if it smells like number two. He's your grandpa. That's what family do. Listen, I gotta go. Love you. Do your homework, okay? Hey, Maria. How it going? You know, another day, another minimum wage. You see the state of bungalow dress? No, was it bad? Come on. They should be just past this pool. Here, you take the camera. She knows me, dude. I'll keep lookout. Is that good, babe? Oh, oh, it's fantastic. Really? Yes. Oh, you're so big. I know. Now, I must say, for a virgin, you're really not that into this. I'm only a virgin for TV. Really? I mean, I always wash afterwards and jump up and down, so it doesn't count. What? I'm not releasing a sex tape for at least three years. Unless my agent tells me to. What? I thought this... I love you, Poppy. I really want us to go places. I thought we could be the cutest teen couple. But, Justin, you're 21 and I'm 24. We only say we're teens for marketing purposes. That's not true. Okay, just get on with it, will you? I'm hungry. There's someone watching. Oh, oh shit! Security! Creepy, aboard! Creepy, aboard! Creepy, creepy, this okay. way! You're fucking dead. Come on! Go, go, go! Give me that camera! Get the fuck in the car, man! The show coming after us! Well, don't just sit there! Film that psycho slut! Damn! America's sweetheart is one angry-ass bitch! <laughs> yeah, I know! She's terrifying! It's perfect! I'll try to lose them! I was working on my quads, you idiots! Straight road coming up! This is your chance to get a good shot of her! Man, you knocked the one hanging out this fucking trunk! You people are stuck! Man, it's gonna get worse before it get better! Whoa, whoa! What the hell, man? That motherfucker's right on top of us, dawg! I'm taking a sharp right! Keep that camera on her! Those two men are child molesters! I'm gonna go left and cut across the intersection! Hold on! Is that camera even pointing at her? You have no idea what I'm capable of! Stay on her! This crazy ass bitch! If we don't see her, I don't get paid! Ah, oh, shit! We got traffic ahead! Going left! Keep it steady! I will fucking destroy you! And everyone who knows you! Jesus, she's still on us! Screw this! I'm going through the construction site! No! Man, shit! I hope this didn't just turn into a snuff movie. Eh, whatever, she's fine! We'll wipe the audio. Oh, I can just see the headlines now. Poppy Mitchell crashes car on drug-fueled sex rampage.
Another illuminating experience, homie. Hey, well, someone's got to do it. I really don't think so. Hey, look. If you don't want to become rich beyond your wildest dreams while performing a vital public service, you won't meet me again. But then again, you're not an idiot. No, I am a fucking idiot. Would you stop doing this shit? Oh, oh, it's you. Hey, how's it going, homie? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, uh, you seem incredible lately. Yeah, Trevor Phillips, but I doubt if you want a picture of him. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wasn't he uh, in, in the, the men's room? Nah, nah. Oh, shit. I gotta tell you. This is unbelievable. Ah, crap. That hurt. Man, you're not gonna believe this. They want to do a reality series about me. Yeah, it's true, man. I'm gonna be big. I'm gonna be huge, right? It's all about the incredibly glamorous life I lead. Huh? Uh, good. Yeah, boy. Oh, yeah, boy. Yeah, except, you know, while I'm doing that, I'm gonna need somebody else to take some shots for me. Nah, I'm cool on that, dog. Oh, come on, dude. Come on, homie. All right, look, just if, if you get a chance, right? I mean, there's no rush, okay? Oh, and what I'll do is I'll, I'll send you a list of names and some links so you can see who they are, right? Yeah, well, whatever, man. All right. Yeah. Hey, you know, and I promise you, fame won't change me one bit. Yeah, I was afraid you would say that. Ah! Oof. Ah! Uh, I'm good. Hey, I'm good. Mama. Okay. Wow, everything's good. Ah. Mitchell has just been spotted in a high-speed chase with the cops! Like, like right now, bro! Apparently she's wasted! Get after them! See if you can snag a shot of her getting busted! I guess that's her. Get myself into this. Oh, yeah. Good. 
Hey, can I get an autograph? I'll do anything if you let me help. Anything? Anything. You know Princess Georgina, that snooty English royal? She and not really. She don't kick it in Chamberlain Hills much. Well, word has it she likes to blaze one for queen and country, if you know what I mean. <laughs> that there's a deal going down right now. I need you to meet my contact outside Chico's hypermarket. And try not to blow his cover, okay? All right, man. This one I got. I'll hit you when it's done. I got stuck coming from Del Perro. The boulevard was all kinds of backed up. on every aisle. Everyone's had calls through. Hey! Yo, you Beverly's boy? Shit, I guess I am, huh? They're round back. Heavy security. I'd take a photo from the roof if I was you. Okay, I gotta go. This conversation never happened. Yeah, I got you, homie. It's good. Sticky cowboy, minus passion, purple plunder, endless panic, whatever you want. Yo, 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 I'll take it all. <laughs> okay. I am on holiday. I mean, apart from a few photo shoots with orphans and cripples, but, like, I could do that in a coma. They really are the same the whole world round, you know? Okay, give me a second, eh? So, like, back in England, my help would, like, totally do this for me. But they're, like, super scared of being arrested and totally banged by scary dudes in U.S. jail, yeah? So, like, so ghastly. It's just, it's such a total drag. I mean, the U.K. taxpayer gives them money to protect me and be my servant. So they should just, like, do what I say. Even if it's, like, lick my shoe or buy me drugs or, like perform a sex act on my dog, you know? The taxpayers should totally get their money's worth, right? I mean, back when we had an empire, the king could, like, chop people's heads off and stuff, and that was so much better. I mean, the queen is like my granny. You know, it takes hundreds of years of inbreeding to get recessed chin, buck teeth, and snout like nose like mine. I mean, I'm a rare breed. I should be, like, cherished and stuff. Okay, here you go. This should chill you the fuck out. Oh, well, one of you apes, please pay this poor man. Really, the Secret Service has gone down the pan. Oh, thank you. Fantastic. I really enjoy meeting the underclass. I'm so relatable in that way. Hey, you my dude, right? Damn straight. Oh, no! Chalinga! Incredible, dude! That photo is solid gold! This is bigger than climate change! Imagine the headlines! All those highness puns! <laughs> I am gonna be rich! Don't you mean we? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Mi casa, tu casa, you know. I I'll catch you later. I need to get this to print! I don't know if this is the right treat. Hey, Bev! Oh, man, you fucking ruined the shot! You ruined the fucking shot! What the fuck you talking about? You ruined the fucking shot! It's a fucking reality show, and you ruined it, homie. Homie's got you them photos. Poppy Mitchell, the English princess, the others. Oh, right, man, you know? I don't even remember, right? The whole thing is like... But what about my money? We're shooting a show here, trying to work. Hello? Or just, you know, have somebody call my agent or something. Man, fuck you. Whatever. Uh, back to one! Please, we're shooting something. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Now, where, now where were we? Uh, guys, do, do we have enough shots of me jumping around the corner? Uh, I think we're good.
Hey, you Peter Dreyfus? I said, are you Peter Dreyfus? Who are you? You want an autograph? No offense, but I'm not reading any screenplays. Huh? I mean, you're from the hood, right? You don't want to pick up the guns, because, like, if you pick up the guns, everybody dies. It's tragedy, pathos, tedium. I'm bored. Unless, you know, you're here to copulate. I'm here to what? People, they want to consume me. They always have. To touch the hem, you know, so to speak. And who's to hold that against them? I don't. Well, what time is it? I got a few minutes before my colonic, you know, if you want to suck me off. I wouldn't mind. Motherfucker, do I look like I'm here to suck you off? I don't know what you're here for, chum. You're like some barely credible deus ex machina sent here by random chance in order to challenge my impending divinity. Man, I don't know what the fuck you just said, but guess what? I'm here for this, chum. Hey, what's this about? Do you know her? Security? What's her name? Security, this guy's trying to rape me! Leonore Johnson. It's not what you think. The one who pants you fucked over after you killed her just because you could. How much you want? How much money you want? I got enough motherfucking money, homie. I'm famous. Fuck you! I can do whatever I want. Those are the rules, civilian! Get away from me! I'm an artist! I'm not bound by the petty laws of the masses! It was Solomon Richards, not me! Nora, motherfucker. How can possession of a vegetable be illegal? Can I get a signature, sir? For what? <laughs> the most important fight of all. Poverty. Hmm? No, another most important fight. The AIDS. No, 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 another one. Animal welfare. Legalization. Here, sign. Shit, where's my pen? Where's my pen? Legalization of what? Of things the Founding Fathers took as a right to consume medicinal plants. Legalized smoke? Yeah. You fucking kidding me? I make a shitload of money selling that, all right? The last thing I can handle is legalization. Now, fuck off! Take a drag. No, I don't, I, don't, I don't smoke it anymore. It interferes with the speed. No, it's really good weed. All right, give it here. Yeah. It's a real mellow contemplative, huh? That comes from here. <laughs> Those clowns over there. How many fucking clowns can you fit in the van? This is a joke with no punchline. You're 
Just smoke. Die, creepy hallucination. Yeah, who's laughing now? Hmm. Spoke too soon. Let's spin. Not good. And I suppose that's why they want to keep us suppressed. <laughs> Gosh, it's been really interesting talking to you. What the fuck was that, huh? It was horrible. Well, think about what I said. So I take it I can count on your attendance, friend. Huh? At the smoke in. We're what? Yeah, we're gonna bring down the government by smoking weed together in a public place. It's very effective. I'm prepared to be a martyr, friend. Are you? Shit, if being a martyr means to smoke good weed, for sure. Would you like a little warm up? You know, before you go and collect the supplies? Before I what? You know, get the supplies. Can't have a smoke in without smoke. You know, cerebral stuff that's gonna get the people up off their feet protesting. Man, I don't know. It sounds kind of bullshit to me. We're gonna crush them with our resolve. Here. <clears throat> Have a little taste of that. <clears throat> hmm. Just a mellow, sophisticated high. Man, it seems a little dry. Can't you see the aliens? Man, what else are you taking? Man, this shit is garbage. Anyway, just get the stuff. It's a revolution, and then call me. Crazy motherfucker. San Andreas needs you. 
I I'll text you where the stuff is. Hey, go quick before someone sees you. And look out for the cops and the monsters. They're everywhere. I'm being watched. The cops are on to me. Get out of here. You know too much. Says. The fool running around after I found the truck you wanted. Oh, good, good. Uh, now hurry. I need it in Vespucci in the next couple of hours. Uh, and watch yourself. I hear the cops have been snooping around over there. Shit, motherfuckers had eyes on the plate.
Man, that ain't going nowhere by itself. Mom, I've said all there is to say. What? Man, get your ass down here. I'm outside with this junker you made me drag across town. Look, just leave it there. I can't come out now. The satellites! I mean, they're scanning our brains and tracking our heartbeats through the internet. Go now while you still can. <sighs> Man, I'm wasting my fucking time. No, you're a hero, a green warrior. We're changing lives. Excuse me, sir, can I talk to you for a second? The fuck are you talking about? I am talking about a hotline straight to heaven. That this state makes illegal. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. I don't give a fuck about reefer. No, no, they rigged the vote. I saw the ballots. It's a lie. It's democracy at work, amigo. Democracy can suck my fatty. Democracy only works when it lets intelligent people do what they want. This? This is tyranny by morons. <laughs> yeah, well, I got things to take care of in a little place called reality. You want a drag? Nah, I'm not a drug guy. This isn't bushweed. This is mana. And I grew up myself. No paranoia, no weirdness. A passport to nirvana. Fuck, give me this. Yeah, here, you hardly feel it. Yeah, I smoke all day and I'm fine. It's a pure, mellow high. But I do get concerned about the monsters. Yeah. I mean... I'm sure they're nothing serious, but, uh... Oh. I never let them get too near. Oh! The fuck! 
After that, you see, the liquor companies push for continued prohibition, which is complete insanity. <laughs> so I take it I can count on your support. The fuck just happened? What are you talking about? We discussed globalization, the state. Stay the fuck away from me. What? But it's a good cause. Where you at, Mr. Revolutionary? What? The smoke in. I'm at City Hall. I'm the only fool here. Uh, uh, uh yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll be right there. I, uh, uh, I didn't forget I was busy. Yeah, busy, that's it. <laughs> Fight the power. This motherfucker. Man, this fucking fool don't even know what year it is. What? I don't care what you say. Shut your mouth. Shut it. Shut. Just keep it shut. Oh. You know full well exactly what you didn't say. It's no good. Well, you can be surrounded by your young girls and your threesomes and your parties, and you will be miserable. You could have had it all with me. A beige condo, matching woolen sweaters, walks on the beach, a little dog we lavish too much attention on because I'm too scared of getting fat to get pregnant. Everything. Well, fuck you. And I don't care that we just met last week, all right? Just stop looking at me. Don't look at me. Say something. Oh, I wish you were dead. I really do. Mm. Ah! Oh, I love you! Oh, let me take you away from all of this! Stop it! Psycho! He was gonna impregnate my ex by a surrogate! Me? Me the psycho? No, you are the craziest fucking chick I've ever met! I love you! You're thin! You're irrationally angry! Nothing you say makes any sense! You are completely have no control of your emotions! We have nothing in common! Oh, baby, we're made for each other! Prove it! 
On the bike! Now! Oh, sweet Jesus. Oh, baby, wait, wait, wait! I'll get you. You are just perfect, Crazy Cakes! Is that for real? Stay out of my way! Oh no! Don't tell me I gave you the carbon bike! Look out! You're Ow. incredible! Marry me! Be done with this! Shut up! Don't talk to me! I defended your honor! I took out the alpha male! Evolution demands that we rut like beasts! Oh, Scott! Burying the misogynistic law of the jungle bullshit! Oh, shut up! I love an unhinged mature woman! Go fuck yourself! Just think of all the angry revenge sex! I am not having sex with you! Get that through your thick head! Okay, well jack me off into a cop! Slap me around! We got options, baby! You need help! We both do! It's a recipe for disaster! That's why it's so perfect! <laughs> Woo! I win! Come on! Come on what? Sex reward! That's how this works. You're deluded! Spread your genome in a gym sock! Oh, fuck, I love you! Hold me! Not now. Message for me, get off your fat ass. Let's see, this uh, exercise stuff's about as relaxing for you as it is for my wife. No, I don't want to sleep with you, and no, I don't care that I'm 39 and single. It doesn't worry me a bit. Oh, easy. I'm go. not stressed out at all. Now go fuck yourself. Are you okay? Yes, I'm okay. Just fuck you. All of you. I'm on a run. Mm. Well, you seem a little upset. I could still run you into the fucking ground. <laughs> okay. Hey, I played high school football, all right, sweetheart? All state, QB. Whatever. Just don't have a coronary. Let's go! Huh. Whoa! Okay, ma'am, boobs, race your... It's running. How much gear do you need? I feel like I'm being chased by my creepy uncle. Yeah, if your uncle was the same age as you, you mean? Although that would explain a lot. Fuck you! Why are you so angry? Run on the road! Take that traffic head on! Yeah, I could have guessed you were one of those. You trust it! Justin! How's my bad? Age rage! Firing on all cylinders! Hey, that shit was fucked up last night, right? Okay, here we go! Lap push! Come on! Flick the switch, Marianne! Let's go lactic! 
I thought I had issues, but you? You give me hope. I own you! My shrink's office is right near here if you want to work through some of that shit. Yeah, because you're a walking advertisement for therapy! Yes, I have been a sperm donor in the past. Damn proud of it. <sighs> Not too shabby, huh? You can have that one on me. I never got out of second gear. I already did a 10K today. Yeah, whatever gets you through it. Oh, my chest. Fuck me! Let's go Screw you! Week. You're lucky I'm tapering for a try! Sixty-nine! Seventy! Stop looking at my ass! I wasn't looking at your ass. I know. No one ever does. A little thin for my taste. But nice. What are you going for a swim? What do you care? You think I got a fat ass and I only swim because I float easily? I was just making conversation. Doing a three-way. A what? A triathlon. Sounds like you got way too much time on your hands. F you! You like a stay-at-home cheerleader, do you? Pathetic. You know what? F you, bitch. I'll beat you. Come on. I promise. <laughs> I bet you like to beat women. I wonder why your ass is single. Perfect beach start! I got this locked in! Come on! Shit, you need a vacation or something, lady. I really ain't dressed for this shit. Admit it! You were curving my ass on the beach! Are you for real? That's cold! Don't be a baby! Mommy's not here! I'm your mama now! What are you doing, Marianne? Focus! Focus! T1, baby! Here we go! the damn road! talking about? Scaling down training before a race. I bet you fucking tapered. Pathetic. I blame the transition. You seem to be going through some kind of change, lady. Hey, 
Have you seen a dog anywhere? Yeah! It went down the beach, I think! Well, great, you won! Aren't you gonna gloat? Look, we both survived. These things are about taking part, not winning, right? No, it is always about winning! All right, we gotta keep going. Some loser. Fat, unmarried, career-driven loser! Hey, girl, you better chill the fuck out! Go to hell! Greetings! Tony, I told you don't call me no more. You fuck me, Tony. I ain't promoting your club no more. at lunch the other day that you play the guitar? I was thinking, let's get a band going hey, with all the guys right? from the shop. Hello. Yeah, this is him. I can sing. Hey. Let me sing at the bar. My computer's ready. Rain. Truck, huh? Yeah, fuck it, why not? Take me to my father, father, brother, uncle, Kiflam. Yo, peace, brother, brother. <laughs> Kiflam. Oh, Kiflam. really? Oh!
slow. Careful! You have come this far, but the journey has only just begun. You've waited years for this moment. You're exactly in the right place. I was lost. I sold myself. I took drugs. I was in conflict. Then I discovered an incredible truth. A truth so incredible that if I told it to you now, you would melt into nothingness. You are ready, but you are not ready. Oh, I'm not ready. Then you're ready! I don't know about that. <laughs> the truth is incredible if you're capable of understanding it. We have your email address. We will send you an incredible education tool that will help you to unlock the secrets of the existence. That will cost as little as $5,000. Oh, $5,000? What price would you put on having the tools to understanding everything and to achieving the impossible? The price I would put on that is every penny you've ever earned. <laughs> Kiflin, sister mother. Well, the price I would put on it is all the money in the entire world, because that is how much it is worth. Well, we're offering you millions of dollars of top-quality research and learning by society's best thinkers for only $5,000. Think about it, Michael. And if you think too long, we know you're not ready. Kiflam. Kiflam! Okay. Ending. Hello, Michael. Or should I say, Zolag? What? Your real name is Zolag. You are a king. You lived in a cloud city, but evil forces came and cast you out. Now you are trapped here, but soon you shall be free. Okay. I used to be called Marnie. Now I am Shupar, Queen of the Winds. Doubting is the pathway to believing for non-objectionable persons. The literature is very clear about that. Ah. Why is it whenever people talk about reincarnation, they're always a king or a general or a famous person? How come they're never a serf or a rock or a bug? Oh, it is easy to be a doubtful antithesis, but be a thesis, Zolag! These are incredible truths. I used to be lost. Now I'm the most powerful person in existence. Last night, I went to 47,000 places at the same time. Okay. This is bullshit. Objectionable persons fall at any hurdle. Mm. Goodbye. Helping higher beings is the pathway to acquiring a higher existence. I'm sure it is. You're not. But you are on the way. Some of our true thesis holders, who also happen to be top of their field actors, philosophers, and humanitarians, require cars. Oh. Can you find it in your heart to be of service? The spirits shall email you their requirements. The spirits have email. Don't be an antithesis, Zolag. Kiflom. Kiflom.
Don't be an antithesis. Well done, Zolag. Well done. This is the work of a true thesis. Get bombs, Olag. Good boy. Don't be an antithesis.
question. Hello, Zondar. Kiflam. Hi, Kiflam. Marnie. Wait, I thought my name was Zola. That's because everything you have ever thought is wrong, Zondar. Do you know top actor, philosopher, and environmental activist Jimmy Boston? What's up, bro? Hey, how you doing? Kiflam. Right. Kiflam. <laughs> Welcome to the truth. Your thoughts are probably very confused. Chris is clear about this. Yeah, you're neither thesis nor antithesis. You're nothing, Zondar, nothing. I've become a thesis, bro, in record time. So Chris said I could hunt for extraterrestrials out here using this incredible meter. This is science the authorities try to suppress. <laughs> well, Zondar, now you can meet your people. Oh. Kiflam. 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 This area is a confirmed hotspot for extraterrestrial activity, bro. The device should light up blue when it finds a signal. If you're switched off, the meter switched off. Nah, signal's dead, bro. That's it! Let the spirit guide you! Am I sensing a lack of urgency here? Blue light! You're a go, brother brother! Well, it's hot. You're at one with the meter, bro. Boo. Wait a minute. What the hell is this? Wh what's going on? Oh, yeah, you're feeling it, aren't you? The truth of a thousand galaxies. Or a weirdly vibrating flashlight. If it's not lighting up, try another direction. I used to be lazy too, before I realized I was a repressed god with, like, responsibilities to the human race. Oh! Oh, oh, hey! This? It? I don't know. Shukuku car! Is this it? If there is doubt in your mind, you're an antithesis, and the metaverse will not reveal its secret. Guess we keep looking, bro. Do not despair, Zondar. You just need to try harder to rid your mind of ignorance, that's all. The meter only responds to your inner god, which must be set free to soar through the paradigms. Let it reverberate through your major organs. Resonate with your whole. I feel like you've lost sight of your destiny a little, Zondar. Visualize the mountains and the 87 moons of Ziliad and you will find your direction.
It is leading you to the great truth. I can feel it. Keep going. Assert your divinity. Let the light of this paradigm shine forth. Be a god form. The device is really starting to connect with you now. Clear the emotional clouds. You are straying from the path of the truth. Yes, Krant, Krant shows Zondar the way. Go forward, Zondar. Trust your instincts. Good, good. Embrace the technology craft is provided. I think I'm close. The Emperor has chosen you. A billion destinies in one. Sondar will be praised in the next paradigm. Let's not get ahead of ourselves here. So this is it. Right? Do you doubt the truth? Do you? I doubt that you don't doubt. Now I'm doubting. Then the search must continue. Hey, Marnie? Shupar? This is ridiculous. Like, I don't have anything better to do. I heard that. You're being an antithesis again. All right, let's see where this takes us. Okay, come on then, little flashing box. Reveal the great truth to me. This is it. I am 110% unequivocally positive this is it. Then you understand, Zondar. I understand that this is fucking it. Good. Then you know what it costs. Five grand. Ten. Whatever. Kiplum. Ready? For what? It is today and the tract can be written. Wait, wait, wait. 
I can't believe that you got wrapped up in this bullshit. Uh, you seem like a nice girl. Objectionable antitheses are worse than idiots on a sinking ship. The literature makes that very clear. Yeah, well, does the literature make clear that you need help? I have help. I know the truth. If you want to know me, agree to pay your dues and wear pale blue attire for the next 10 days. You should get the attire off the website. It's very reasonable, right? <laughs> what? Are you even capable of listening, Zondar? <laughs> Kiflum. Twenty-five grand? Jesus! I mean, crap! Fantastic! Brother Zondar, I knew you'd come. I was told to come. Chris needs you to take this plane to initiate Boston. He awaits you in the east. Okay. Detailed as ever. Truth must be revealed gradually until you're capable of understanding it. Eternal brother, brother, you get the secret plane from the secret location? Yeah, I'm in the top secret baby blue plane. Where am I heading? Unknow it, and you'll know. Look, can you just know it for me so we can move this thing along? Okay, but that's entry-level stuff, bro. Sandy Shores Airfield, I'll meet you there. Kiflom. Kiflom.
Right here, brother, brother! Get flying, bro. Get flying. Got the money? Get flying. Cool. And the plane? <laughs> Get flying. Oh, nice. You're almost a thesis of truth, bro. You nearly there? It's gonna cost a little time and effort, and then it's astro planes and 37,000 places all at once. <laughs> and the chicks. Oh! <laughs> You know, Chris and I sometimes watch porn together in the nude. Just to prove we don't get turned on by it. It's pretty awesome. Anyway, Kifla, man. Laters. Kifla. Oh! Chris says, if you're ready, here's a tree of truth. Now, he'll arrange a map, but it's kind of expensive to reach this level of existence. You'll need quite a bit of money. Someone to mail you, bro. Mind if I take the plane? Kifla. Kiflam! Come on! You've discovered great things! Kiflam, brother, father, you now know we're not alone. And you've discovered the importance of higher beings, celebrities, like me, as people to worship and guide you to truth. Here, this is your medal for your achievements so far. Chris is very happy with you. Indeed I am happy, Zondar. You have achieved great things, but it is as a blink of the eye. Unless you achieve more, you shall not survive the apocalypse. Chris has spoken. Kifla. Kiflam, Zondar, you're nearly a true thesis. Your antithesis is almost quelled. Oh, I'm so great! I'm very reasonably priced, too. Mm. Ah, quell my antithesis. It's easy, just bring a small donation to Chris at the Epsilon Center in the city. But first, you must wear your medal, and your attire, and run five miles through the desert. Kiflam! Kiflam. Brother, father, son, Kiflam. Who's this? The divine truth. Chris Formage. I have fought many mythical beasts in that desert in my previous lives. You are very near to quelling your antithesis. I've been following your progress very closely. You have? I'm everywhere all at once. One more mile and you will have arrived at where you are. Make me proud, Zondar. Craft be praised. Finish? No. Your journey is just beginning. Have you cast off the cane? Have you observed your inefficiencies? I guess so. Then they no longer exist. You are ready. Ready for what? To make another investment in yourself. Bring a generous tithe to the center in Vinewood, and I will personally receive you. Kiflam! Mm. 
Welcome, Zondar. I'm so happy to see that you understand everything. Well, I know nothing, Chris, with no H. Well, then you know everything. Kiflam. Kiflam. The tract is being written. We're writing the tract together. Together. I'm writing the tract here. Do you have the cash? Yes. Yes, I do. Today, I was speaking with Carpetan in the Paradigm 4. And he said that we should deliver some of the Apocalypse funds to the Cayman Islands. Ah, Kiflan. Then you and I can write the tract. Kiflan. Zondar, tell me, have you reached my paradigm? Kiflan. Now, are you ready to write the tract? Kiflan. Just make sure to deliver this big bale of cash to my helicopter. Oh, and I'm sure you'll be pleased to know Kraft is very impressed with your progress. Ah. Kiflam. Stay in convoy, Zondar. Chris is placing a lot of trust in you with this assignment. Kiflam. Zildor, do you copy? What is your ETA? I'm coming in to land now. Ah, yes, brother. I see you. Excellent. How much money is in here, anyway? Why would that concern you? Any amount is insignificant when weighed against the value of absolute understanding.
fucking traitor. After all we've done for you, you can consider your enlightenment revoked, you son of a bitch. And you can consider this my refund. Don't you realize how powerful I am? I make or break Vinewood careers. I will destroy you. Gotta go, brother, brother. Kithlam. You are unsavable. You will be the fertilizer of the Tenth Paradigm. You're gonna meet a bitch, that's where you're gonna meet one, you know what I'm saying? Hey, hey. Give me a sip of that. What? Come on! My throat's dry as a motherfucker. Why? Is your mother dry when you're... <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that, huh? Nothing. Well, it didn't sound like nothing, all right? It didn't seem like nothing. I don't think that it was nothing! No, I didn't mean nothing by it, old man. Old man? Old man! Fuck you, you creepy old motherfucker! That's right. I said it. Creepy. Old. Motherfucker. No. Jesus. Huh? No, come on. Get what? Up. What? What? Sorry. Now, where I'm were sorry. we exactly? Huh? Get up. Get up. Oh. I'm sorry, man. We're sorry. Help! Help! There's a guy with a gun. Ass wipe. about my mother!
सुनो कि नहीं हो ही गया। ए इसे के ओंडा। You say amigo? Where you from, Bato? It's none of your business. Huh? Okay. Hey, it's a slight accent. Fuck you. Hey, so I grew up in Canada, huh? What's a big fucking deal? You fucking racist! And before you fucking ask, no, I'm not a motherfucker. Nice piece, dawg. Hey, hey, yo, yo, who the fuck is this motherfucker? Hey, what's cracking on me? What you doing around here, man? Me? Yeah, you, motherfucker. You. What? I'm talking to you, motherfucker. Who else you think I'm talking to, homeboy? I'm getting bored of this. <laughs> what? It's what? not legally fucking if you do not penetrate. <laughs> ah, shit, man. Oh, fucker. Me fuck. Nose, nigga.
supposed to be scared of you? I'll kill all you Bala pussies! Any more mother jokes? I want to hear them! Send out some real gangsters! It's gonna strip the screw there. I can't put the cap on. No, it's a nut, man. You just screw it back on. Hey, what are you doing here, citizen? I said, what are you doing here, citizen? Nothing. Oh, I'm sorry. You're clearly a tourist. Our friends from up north, eh? A boot. Don't even say it like that. There's a moose loose, a boot to hoose. <laughs> Fuck off, you hoosier, eh? Hey, hey, what's hey, that, hey, fuck hey, hey, Oh, Jesus. It's a faint hey. fucking accent. Get out of here. You can hardly come on, tell. Come on. Hey, insurgent, shit. insurgent. We have contact. We have contact. Boy Scouts! anymore.
so scared of foreigners. I told him I'd make a movie about his ass and call it Cunts in America. But that will be the post-ironic use of the word cunt, both offensive and at the same time curiously anodyne. Hey, what the fuck? I find your t-shirt more than a little offensive. If there's one thing I cannot stand, it's post-ironic hipsters. If you don't like it, you can go back to Canada, dude! Come on, you want a piece of me, huh? Oh, wait. Oh, fuck! Oh, Run, fuck. you little fuck! Everyone, don't you? Hey, bud. What you do? Nothing. What you up to, Cletus? Uh, hunting. Hunt, hunting what? Retirees? Nah, just stuff. Windows, antenna, tires, vermin. Ah, so that was you. Tis the season for it. I don't give a shit about no season. <laughs> oh, good, huh? Don't let the regulations get you down. That's what I'm saying. Hey, hey, hey. You want to come hunting with me? It'd be real neighborly of you. Hell. Why not? All right then, up here with you. I got just a thing. Let's raise some hell, neighbor. Oh, I'm in. I'll introduce you to one of my all-time favorite pastimes. <laughs> You're gonna love this. Okay, you see them three big satellite dishes? A decent shot, and they'll go down easier than a whore's drawers. You're a real pillar of the community. Half the folks in this town would sell their own mother, and most of the other half already did. Screw them. <laughs> no more reality TV for 
you, Mrs. Gilbert. Okay, one more for the road. Yeah, that's it. Give him hell. Shoot another one. Boom! <laughs> Didn't I tell you this would be more fun than a barrel full of pussies? Ooh, you're a classy date, Cletus. No denying that. <laughs> now drive us up to that abandoned motel. I got an even better idea. So, what now? We gonna try our luck on something less stationary. Ooh, liberals? Nothing as slippery as that. You'll see. Shit! Ah! Ah! You really yeah. planning on walking there? Well, we'll take your vehicle then. You've got way too much time on your hands. Nah, this is just a bit of foolery. I've been busier than hell with the real hunting. The money and wild organic meat these days, you wouldn't believe. Them hipsters will give you their parents' last dime for it. It's gotten so I can't even keep up with the demand no more. All this eat local, small batch, farm to table bullshit. You know, I could maybe use another pair of hands if I can get you up to snuff with that rifle. You keep on criticizing my shooting, you'll be starring in a snuff with that rifle. Here we are. I bet you never shut out the tires on a car before? Oh, you'd be surprised. Well, let's see what you got then. Ain't you gonna shoot anything, Cletus? Nah, I do this all the time, and I wanna see how you deal with a moving target. Hey. This is perfect right here. Pick a car and shoot a tire. Good, plain, old-fashioned fun. Fire, Trevor, you ain't rushing. This are you? Nice. Go on, one more, just for the hell of it. I never knew you were. Such an agitator, Cletus. All these damn tourists coming out here to gop at rednecks. Give them... What they want, I say. Again, Trevor. When in doubt, take him out. Man, not too bad, Trevor. Right, let's change it up. Come on, follow me. You're as graceful as a pig on ice. Just two fellers killing time in small town America. Don't get much better than this, does it? The two most popular guys in town. Am I glad I ran into you? Ain't nowhere near this fun being antisocial on your own. Whatever cranks your tractor, I say. What's up next on the hillbilly anarchist agenda? Ever shot anything with a face? Actually, let me ask it again. Ever shot anything with a face on four legs? Now, Cletus, it's important you realize I'm a man plagued by vicious rumors. Fine. Let's head for the roof. I seen some coyotes hanging around down by the road. Reckon it would be real neighborly of us to get rid of a couple. And we are nothing if not neighborly. Should start calling you Mal Coordinator. We'll get a better shot from up here.
All right, I see him. Looks like we got two packs of coyotes down there. Take a few of them out, and the rest should scatter. It or they'll get wise to you. Time to fish or cut bait, Trevor. Varmint's always getting at the trash and chicken. Worst thing about the Alamo Sea, coyotes. I don't know. I can think of a couple more. Hellfire! That should do it. Nicely done. I reckon you should tag along next time I go hunting out at Polito Bay. I'll show you how to bag an elk. Ah, why not? All right, gotta go. I'll send you a text when I'm about. There you are, Trevor. Ah, oh, but ain't my favorite marksman, huh? How are you, Cletus? Fine and dandy, sir. You ready to hunt some elk? Ah, uh, beat satellite dishes. <laughs> Lead the way. Oh, here you go. Now, uh, put this in your mouth. A bad day hunting still beats a good day working, my pa always used to say. What is this thing in my mouth? And why do I have the feeling I'm not the first person to use it? I'll explain that in a while. Let's start with the basics for now. Elk senses are razor sharp. If they see you or hear you, you'll spook them. And they'll bolt. You gotta move slowly and quietly and keep that aside. But an elk's nose is as big as defense. When you're tracking elk, you always need to watch the wind direction. If you don't stay downwind of them, they'll pick up your scent and be gone before you can say boo. Especially with that distinctive, uh, musk of yours. I'm calling pot and kettle on that, my friend. All right, this is a prime area right here. You feeling ready, Trevor? Raring to go. Okay, let's see if we can bag ourselves some elk. I saw a young bull using a down tree to scratch his antlers on not ten minutes ago. Follow me. I'll keep us downwind so we don't spook him. further in. Keep quiet and stay close. I ain't seen much else or nothing else out here. But we're gonna have to see if we can coax one into the open. That's where that thing you've been chewing on comes in. Ah, yes. Please enlighten me. It tastes like old person. That's a diaphragm. Mm-hmm. An elk whistle, you and me. All right, give it a good blow. See if we can get any nearby elk to holler back. Sounds like someone strangling a clarinet player, and I talk from experience. Shh, listen. Okay, you hear that? He's over there. You're downwind, so he's yours to lose, Trevor. Go get him. Might want to blow that whistle again. Heart 
shot like a true professional. Okay, follow me. We'll move a little further in. Stay quiet. I think we might have a mating pair up ahead. Let's check it out. Now, remember, if it's a pair, we're only here for the male. No does. That's my rule. So if you see one with no antlers, leave it be. Blow your whistle again. See if you can get a beat on them. Okay, this is good. Same as before, nice and steady. Now lay him in the shade. Now, Trevor, uh, you're on your own for the next one. Tell you what, I got an idea how we can go in on this together. Text me a pic of your next kill, and we'll talk business. Ah, I gotta go. Uh, good luck. I'll holler at you in a while. Got the photo, another nice kill. So this is what I'm thinking. All this demand for wild raised meat with them city folks right now? If we divide and conquer, I reckon we could make ourselves a tidy little sideline. Text me a photo of your quarry. I'll let you know what it's worth and come by to pick it up as soon as I can. I like my meat with some age on it anyways. Uh, what do you say? Yeah, I say we'll see. I got a few other irons in the fire at the moment. All right, well, the offer's there. And you can keep that elk collar. Was my grandma's before she passed. Uh, be hearing from you. What? Passport, давай, ебать, мам. I don't fucking understand you. Надо, ты по-английски не шаришь. Что за хуйня с тобой? Я говорю, паспорт покажи. Все вы нелегалы как один. И по гражданским арестам, ты понял? Америка страна возможностей, а я воспользуюсь возможностью послать тебя обратно через границу, откуда ты приперся. What? Very good, Joseph. Real fine. We'll make a civilian protector of our nation's borders from undesirable elements of you yet. Sorry, citizen, just a training exercise. 
Ah, okay. Well, I'm so glad that you patriots are out here defending this fine American desert sand. Well, thank you. When you could be in town fucking some girls and further destroying the gene pool. Hey, there's a real problem here. Да, люди мотивированы необходимостью прокормить свои семьи, едут сюда работать по черному за копейки и прут, прут в эту страну. It's a disaster. And that's why we form the Civil Border Patrol. <laughs> wait, 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 wait! My Patriot meter's going off. Huh? <laughs> come on, both of you! We've got some illegals over them hills! Come on, come on, you drive! You drive, let's go! Drive, get in the back! Meshkin <laughs> option. What's your name, citizen? I'm Joe, that there's Joseph. Trevor. Okay, Trevor. Well, it's saying we need to head for the Yellow Jack Inn. Oh, good. They love me in there. Oh, I'm definitely getting a strong reading. The Patriot Meter predicts undesirables with up to 79% accuracy. <laughs> Surely this is a sick joke. I mean, I love hanging with freaks, but you two losers cannot be for real. Unfortunately, this is as real as it gets. These people are criminals who threaten our way of life and drive down our property prices. Они думают, что могут приехать сюда в поисках лучшей жизни для себя и своей семьи. Это противоречит Конституции. Come one, come all, I say. This country's got bigger problems to deal with. <laughs> well, that's because you've been brainwashed by the secular media. Don't you worry, though. We'll convert you. My brother showed some, uh, well, let's just call it sexual weakness in his younger days. But now he's a happily married man with three children, and he rarely acts out. Well, if you do well in your civil border patrol trial, we will, of course, pay you for your time. Last time I looked, this was still a service-driven market economy. This I have to see. Here we are. No sign of illegals out here. Well, they must be inside. Go see if you can flush them out, Trevor. Is there any place in the world I'd rather be than drunk as a skunk at the Alamo Sea? I said to the white bitch, I'm going out for a snack. That was ten years ago, and I ain't What's been up? back. What's up? good, man. My side Hey! You're banned. Oh, this is pointless. Everyone in here has done something illegal. Hey, Trevor, get out here now! They're in that car. Let's go! Get in the way! Go! Go! Let's bring him in, boys! Here, take the stun gun! Really? Nobody needs to die here. We're a civilized people. Don't subdue those illegals, Trevor. I want to see how you handle that stun gun. Loco <laughs> de remate! What the heck? Dios mío! Sorry about that, pal. Don't apologize to them. They're the ones breaking the law here. Okay, okay. I do what you say. A very nice trip. Respectful, but firm. We can handle it from here. Get in the vehicle. You've had your fun. It's time to go home. Mi chance, pendejo. Please, no more! I go with you! What is wrong with you?
Give me that. Yeah, put him up. Oh, it's you. What are you idiots up to, huh? Мы здесь защищаем честь Америки. Это предназначено судьбою. Гордая страна, которая может совершить геноцид и назвать это волею Божией. Fellow can't speak two words of English, but he knows this is the best country. Jesus. Hey, hey, what's that? The illegals ruining the place. Come on, come on, let's go. Let's go. Get in. Get in. Rachen. You still got that stun gun? Oh, good man. Always prepared. Oh, oh, the depths all troll for five hundred bucks. Right, let's go get him into custody. Oh. Oh. This is a citizen's arrest. Not you lunatics again. You could have killed me. Get in the vehicle now, sir. Good work, boys. <laughs> now head for the cement factory. We got reports of more illegals working over there. Where are you taking me? This is a kidnapping. This is time for you to go home to Mexico, sir. What are you talking about? This is my home. I have my papers right here. Oh, yeah? Well, let me see that. Oops. Is rook Chile? You won't get away with this. I'll report you! <laughs> you ought to report me! <laughs> Are you sure this old man's a threat to American freedom? Sure as I've ever been about anything. Jesus, you're a real fuckwit. How'd you get your hands on this patrol car? Uh, I'm a proud park ranger, my friend. A trained security professional enjoying his time off. Well, and Joseph here, uh, well, I ain't sure what he does for a living. You see, we're men. We don't talk about ourselves. We're two like-minded pro-Americans who met online, and that's all I need to know. We didn't do nothing. We didn't do nothing. Well, now that's an admission of guilt if I ever saw one. Probably cartel members or child molesters. We'll come back for him. Don't let the other one get away. Beauty! Civil Border Patrol, <laughs> run and I'll put you down again. You understand me? Okay, okay. Let's go, buddy. You're coming with us. Yeah, yeah, on delay, on delay. Come on, move. In the vehicle now. I said move or I will zap you again. All right, fellas. Let's go back for the other one. I thought I had an irrational hatred for my fellow man, but you two are something else. Please, I have a family. Well, that ain't my problem, sir. Ты арестован за преступление против демократии. What? Go car, go now. Okay. Jesus. Двигай, или я тебя заставлю двигаться. Go, go, fucker, go. Take it easy. I'm going. I'm going. Well, good work, everyone. Thanks for the help, Trevor. You're a fine patriot. We'll take it from here. So I just get left here? We made Uncle Sam proud today. They deported you. Why do you care? Well, I don't. Except that they paid me some money. That must feel good. What a proud patriot you are. 
So, when are they kicking you out? They can't kick me out, stupid man. Why not? My family has been here 200 years. I'm more American than you. Not that it's anything to boast about. Well, I'm sorry. Well, at least you got paid. You know, don't get all serious, okay? Anybody can make a mistake. Perhaps now you want to kill me. Yeah, maybe, old man. Maybe not. You and your civil border patrol friends. You're all the same. Ignorant fools trying to protect something that's not even there. They're not my friends. I spend enough time with them. Yeah, I spend a lot of time with fucking people I don't like, all right? It's one of my favorite hobbies. Civil border patrol, man. Fuck you! You want to fucking die? You don't scare me. You owe my family a great debt. What? Our land is no longer safe. It's not my fault. You're so concerned. Clean it up for me. Your choice. And no, I will not give you one cent. Last I heard, your civil border patrol friends were bullying some people east of here at the Sancudo farm. Go left on Ocean Highway, you'll see them. Oh, fucking civil border patrol! with those nut jobs. что у каждого преступления есть последствия. Эй, Джозеф! Why don't you try that on me? Я защищаю эту нацию от многокультурности. Халявщик! the Jeep. Stay out of this, you! Civil Border Patrol disbanded.
There you are, handsome. Hello, Maud. How have you been? Oh, simply wonderful. And you? About the same. Somewhere stuck between joyful and peachy. Even in this world full of scum and detritus, it's only right that we all bear our share. Ain't that the truth? <laughs> Take this poor wretch. On the run, desperate, alone, about to learn the true meaning of suffering, all for a few thousand bucks. Think you can find him for me? Every man has his talents, Maud, and the rigorous administration of justice is, uh, is one of mine. That's why I love you, Trevor. I'll send you his file. I'll have to keep an eye out for you. I recognize that ugly mug. You've got the wrong guy. God damn it, I give up. Correct decision! Come on, road trip. Sit your ass down in here. Come on, pal, don't do this. Just, just let me turn myself in, please. No can do. I'm a dedicated servant of justice, my friend. Count yourself lucky I haven't trust you in duct tape and thrown you in the trunk. Although, now I've said it out loud, I kind of like the idea. Please, they're saying I could get five years. Five years! Whoa, whoa, hang on, remind me. What did you do again? You're giving off a sex criminal vibe. What? No! They're just trying to charge me with check fraud, money laundering, workers' compensation fraud. It's crazy. It was just a few payroll taxes, for Christ's sake. Okay, I'm listening now. You had me at money laundering. What's your play? It isn't really a play. You create a shell company, take out a minimal workers' comp insurance policy, then charge subcontractors a fee to use that company as a dummy paper trail for their undocumented workers. I'm just a middleman, really. Whoa, 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 I take it all back. You are officially the most boring criminal alive. Nah, no, jail's the place for you for sure. For the learning experience alone. What were you doing skulking around that quarry like a common toad anyway? You actually wouldn't find a toad in the quarry. It's too dry. Whoa! Are you getting smart with me, admin criminal? No, no, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just really nervous. Question my questions again. I'll slit your throat and let you gurgle the answer. Am I making myself clear? Uh, one of the mining contractors I worked with said I could lie low there, okay? I've been sleeping in a bulldozer. How you been, Trevor? 
Boy, am I glad to see you. Look what you brought me. Your relentless sunny disposition, it always puts a pep in my step. I aim to please. Well, witty banter completed, I'll give you my thanks. And I'll send you another file for your inspection. Look who it is. Larry Topper. Okay, enough already. You got me. Aw, oh, that's better. Now let's go before I change my mind on the whole dead or alive thing. Get in! Wasn't very nice, Larry. Whoa! Hang on. Surely it ain't. Trevor Phillips? Am I that forgettable? Well, I was pretty messed up back then. And you, well, years ain't been kind to none of us, have they? How you been? Oh, oh, I can't complain. Yourself? You know, up and down. Look, sorry for that back there. Didn't know it was you. Hey, no harm done. Glad to hear it. Ha, well, isn't this pleasant? So, seeing as we're old acquaintances, what do you think about giving me a pass this time? All I did was cook up a batch, not even a real crime. You know how it is. 
Well, let's look at this objectively, shall we? You've shot at me, insulted my rugged good looks, and shamelessly gone after my market share. I'd just consider yourself extremely lucky your heart is still beating and not being stomped under my foot right now. Oh yeah, right. I heard about Johnny. Yes. If it wasn't for the fact I'd made a commitment to Maud and have a soft spot for the mature woman. Maud? Oh, hell, she smells like spoiled chicken feet. Maybe you can work your charms on her, see if she'll let you off. Hello, stranger. Who's this? Hello, Maud. I found this man wandering the streets, and I thought that maybe you uh, might be able to find him a home. I think I can do that. Anyway, let's not waste all day with the inconsequential chit-chat. You'll be receiving a file from me shortly. Mmm, finance guy, mm, my favorite. I'm dedicating this one to all the ladies out there. Hey, we're filming here. Don't you move! You're coming with me! Sayonara, loser! Maybe I'll just kill you after all!
Okay, okay, I give up. Man, I thought I was crazy. Oh, good, good. Now heal. And no begging. Just hold on a second, dude. In now. That's it, bro. Outside the box. Ah! Bro, come on. Seriously? So I forgot to show for court. No biggie. Lesson learned. Let's move on. Is that the best pitch you can come up with? Are you kidding me? I pitched the world leaders, man. I'm in banking. Complex derivatives. Ah, wow. Well, what are the chances? I'm in banking, too. Large withdrawals. Then you know where I'm coming from. Play hard, go big, no regrets, right? All I'm regretting is not killing you. But the journey's still young. Wow. Buzzkill alert. Don't tell me you didn't rush your tits off back there, is a thing! <laughs> An original getaway. I'll give you that. That's me, dog. Unconventional. You see my ink, right? I mean, you never guess I have an MBA. I'm going full sleeve this year, FYI. It's like when I look at you, I see homeless crackhead. But you're really a badass white-knuckle bounty hunter. Dudes like you and me, we will not let normality define us. I met this hedge fund guy called Dom a couple years back who got me into the exports. Guy was a real douche -arama, but he taught me that it's okay to be a douche so long as you're spiritual and alive. It's about taking on nature and winning and filming it. Oh, wow, and how's that working out for you? I mean, in the light of you being on your way to jail and possibly being killed on the way there. Am I sensing a motivation slump? Hello, Mud. Look at the two of you. Have you been keeping handsome? Uh, up and down, to be honest with you, Mud. Life can be confusing, Trevor. In my youth, I wanted to be a cheerleader, and I nearly made it to the top. But then I discovered a burning passion for justice. And that's what brought you here, huh? No, but that's another story for another day. Leave him here, and I'll send you a fresh sheet. Looks like Father Christmas has been a bad boy.
motors are actually worse for you, you know. Who cares? Okay, be a good little fugitive and hold it right there! We got trouble, boys! You're a slave to the system! All right, all right, stop! I'll come quietly. Correct decision! Come on! Road trip! Get in! You gonna play nice now, Granddad? I'd rather die fighting than surrender to the hypocritical laws of your oppressive regime. Uh, although you did, in fact, surrender. I took a stance, didn't I? Stared the bully in the face, then back down at the last minute. That's how activism works. Not that I'd expect a mindless drone of the nanny state like you to understand. Uh, whatever. You know, I never realized hobos were so well armed. I'm not a hobo. I've made a conscious decision to reject the capitalist society. By living in a hobo camp. It's a lifestyle choice, you government stooge. And have you looked in the mirror recently? This discrimination disgusts me. I only just got out of jail for that sit-in protest outside the exchange in Liberty City. Such a sense of the power of group action until we all turn on each other. Hmm. What are they trying to send you down for now? I didn't pay much attention to your file. Of course you didn't. I assaulted a cop at an anti-globalization rally. Beat him up with a fire extinguisher. And I'd do it again. Screw the police. Nothing but mindless stoolies of the totalitarian regime. Well, if it isn't my dear old buddy Trevor, and he's brought me this reprobate. Hello, Maud. You know, I kind of look upon you as the friend I never had, the son I never wanted, and the shrink I could never afford. You do? Kind of. The pursuit of criminal men for profit is back-breaking, soul-crushing work. Oh, I can only imagine. I'm retiring, Trevor. I want a peaceful life, away from all this insanity and degradation. I want a picket fence, and a husband, and a dog named Skip. I want the dream, Trevor, and I won't let anyone stand in my way. Good for you, Maud. I wish you well on that quest. I'll find it, Trevor. I'll find it all. I'm a passionate woman. Goodbye, my boy. Goodbye, Maud. Be well.
show up to? Excuse me, sir. Can I get help? Hello. Hello. Thank God you stopped. Uh, were you a fan of Frank Mathers? Frank Mathers? The TV guy who used to do the shows about space until he became obsessed with undersea exploration? No. Not a huge fan. Frank was my husband. By not a huge fan, I mean... Not a huge fan as much as a fanatic. He was a cruel and heartless man. Well, like I said, I was not a huge fan. But I loved him. Didn't he leave his sick wife and five kids to run off with you? We loved each other. I'm sure he did. And I'm penniless now, not more or, or less. Well, Frank's submarine broke apart while he was trying to save the San Andreas White Shark. But his body was never found. You know, people thought someone tampered with the airlocks. That's an outright lie. That was never proven. I love Frank, and Frank loved me, which is why we invested so much money in life insurance. If we could just prove that Frank was dead and that the airlocks weren't tampered with, I would sleep so much easier. I bet you would. <laughs> I'll make it very worth your while. Guess I could take a look. Come on. I'm a bundle of nerves. Hey. I found it. Well, here's the good stuff. Oh, you precious, precious man. Yeah, but I gotta tell you. I think the airlocks were tampered with. No, no, that's just normal wear and tear. It may surprise you to learn that along with being a beautiful, finely put together woman, I am also an expert in nautical engineering and glass degradation. <sighs> yeah, but I mean, look, it's, oh. Looks like Frank tried to scratch a message in with his last dying breath. It says, someone tampered with the airlocks. airlocks. How can that be? My poor Frank. It must have been his ex-wife. Very bitter woman. Yeah, well, I don't know anything about that. I'm not a detective, you know, but something doesn't ring true here. No, no, I know. The police are in on it. I'm going to take this to the FIB. They'll know what to do. Yeah, well, that's your business. Hey, ho, whoa! Mm -hmm. Said you're gonna make it worth my while. Yes, yes. This should be plenty for your time and discretion. It's ten bucks. Oh. Here's a signed photo of Frank. He was a lovely person. You would have been great friends. He loved his fans. I've got to get going to the FIB, I mean. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Wonderful. A veritable treasure trove. That's a perfectly good sock. Just ignore us. Yes, don't mind us. Pretend we're not here. Okay. You're not Jock Cranley, are you? Actor and artist? I love your work. 
<laughs> Stunt double? Oh, our favorite show. Mrs. Thornhill, snap! Watch the birdie! Oh, we pretend to throttle me. <laughs> yes, yes, like you did on that, on that poster you did. Yeah, okay, all that would be my pleasure. <laughs> oh. uh, like that, huh? Yeah? Oh. Like that. Maybe something oh. like this? Oh. Or like oh. that? Huh? You like that? That's enough now, huh? dear. You like that? Oh. 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 Please. Oh. Hey. Oh. Oh. Thank mm. you. Wow, that's quite a woman oh. there, huh? Oh. We are not worthy. We're, We're not, not worthy. worthy. We're, We're not I'm, worthy. Uh, I'm not Jock, uh, what's his name? Cranley. Big star in the 80s. We well, love celebs. Oh. That's why we came to Tinseltown. Yes. Before we met you, we were trying to break in to Bruce Spade's house and steal his rubbish. The things these stars throw away. They're not like you or me. <laughs> Mrs. Thornhill has the most unbelievable collection of celebrity underwear and bathroom products. Things they've actually used themselves. You guys have a great vacation, all right? I gotta go. We could do with some help. All this climbing over walls and rooting through bins. It's such a business. Nigel's got an arthritic knee. Yeah. What do you, uh, what do you need? Just a few vinewood souvenirs for my mm. museum. Look, 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 look at this map. I mean, a lot of these places have famous people living in them and some that are just hanging about. Bring us some things. I'd be very thankful indeed. Americans are the most wonderful people in the world, aren't they? The best! <laughs> Such fun! <laughs> <laughs> ah, a pair of fruitcakes. I bet I could hit your G-Shot every time. You guys were amazing tonight. <laughs> I can't believe we're parting with Love Fist's manager. Th okay, which one of you cupcakes is Willie? Hey, who the fuck are you? <laughs> his dentist! Well, he's still downstairs chatting up some bird, man. Whoa, his dentist comes to him? That is so cool. Oh, some of the shit I've seen, love, it's unimaginable. You know, if Jez and the guys hadn't gotten so into yoga and probiotics nowadays... Ah, you know! Chin stainer is, like, my ultimate... Hey, man, no more autographs. Eh? <laughs> Oops! Sorry, Love Fist fans. Of an assault on a celebrity at Tequila Laws. Backup and medical assistance required. I'd say my work is done here. This is a fine automobile.
Guess what, you crazy English fruitcake? Oh, I'm dreadful at guessing, aren't I, Mrs. Thornhill? No, she can't hear me. She's washing out a nappy from Samantha Muldoon's dustbin. Yeah, uh, one gold tooth, courtesy of Love Fist, complete with complimentary DNA. Marvelous, marvelous. Oh, Jock, I knew you wouldn't let us down. Toodaloo! El jefe me va a matar. Gave me is wearing off. I've been watching you do laps for like two hours now. Yeah, okay, baby, just one more. Yo, that had to be a four digit calorie burn. Really even definition. Yo, it is like I'm airbrushed, but I am not. How do you like it now, Chloe? I'm not kidding. <gasps> Hello, this might be the best I've ever Heavens. looked. Hello? Oh, come on! Almost stalking perfection! That gardener had to go and ruin it. Oh, look, I don't want any problemas, okay? Keep long, keep long. Hello? This is Nigel. Please be quick. I'm roaming in the United States of America. It's me, you nutcase. I picked up some clothes from your friend Tyler Dixon. There's even a skid mark. What fantastic news! Wait till Mrs. Thornhill hears about this. Oh, she will be pleased as punch.
think you're pushing around, cowboy? Who would buy something I'm that cheap? Shit here. Hey, Gary, can I pet your pooch? I'm a big fan. Dexy, Dexy! That's your fault, you stupid bald prick! Um, I just saw this guy that looked like he was a fucking clown. Quick! Go on! Go after him! Someone call the pound! And an ambulance! It's a guy chasing a dog! What is it with you people? Doggy! Come on, doggy! Be good to daddy! <clears throat> gotcha, you little bastard! There, there. I know, this is weird for all of us. You're gonna make a batshit crazy lady very happy. <sighs> okay, uh, now get back to Carrie before she uses this as an excuse to go back to rehab. Shock! Celebrity newsflash! Maniac steals collar from Gary McIntosh's dog in Rockford Hills! Oh, how delightful! Mrs. Thornhill will have me sporting that in the bedroom before the week is out. <laughs> oh, I, I, I joke, of course. <laughs> we really can't thank you enough for all the effort you're going to to make our holiday so special. Ah, don't mention it. I always enjoy meeting people more chemically unbalanced than myself. After our own, Scissor Sisters locked together. Whatever, man.
I said it, Mrs. Thornhill? I, uh, persuaded Mark Faustenberg to donate one of his golf clubs to your Museum of Dysfunction. Oh, bravo! It will take pride of place on the wall above Jill von Krastenberg's pregnancy test. <laughs> Speak to you soon! I love Americans. You're all so brash and uncomplicated. Naked. There you are, Jock. Yeah, I got you that stuff. Oh, great. Thank you. Where's your wife? Mrs. Thornhill, she's mm -hmm. not my wife. She's got a husband and two lovely kiddies at home. We met online. It's no nothing sexual. Where is she? Well, she's been trying to throw herself under celebs' wheels. <laughs> well, well, she can throw herself under my wheels anytime. Oh, <laughs> I knew you were funny, Jock. Yeah. I knew I would like you. C can I have a hug? Okay. Yeah. Uh, hug, yeah. Uh, Come here. Come here. Uh, I've got a pr protruding hip. It's not a semi. Nigel! Jock! Huh? You won't believe what's happened! What? Only Al Dinapoli walking. He actually walks! He walks walk among, among us. us! Well, then what are you freaks waiting for? Well, that's a long story. Of mistaken identity. And a lot of lies. Stalking is not what I would call it. Oh, me! I told the judge I thought it was unfair. Yes, anyone's trousers could have come undone at that point. Exactly. Jolly bad luck, and we were such fans. If only we could talk to him. Yes, I know it was only his lawyers and agents. They ruin everything. If we could only get him somewhere private. Is it like that little lockup I know? No problemo. Look, there he is! Oh, shit. It's that crazy English bitch again. Nigel, he remembers me! To the chariot! Jock, you drive. Quick, he's getting away! Come on, Jock, get in! He's taking a left turn down the high street, Jock! Did you ever imagine we might get a private audience with Aldi Napoli? Only in my wildest dreams. All those nights spent role-playing in Mother's utility room. If only we'd known. I loved him in the Redeemer. Oh, Nigel, do your Aldi Napoli line. This is turban warfare, motherfucker. <laughs> It's uncanny! <laughs> oh dear, poor Jock must think we're batty. Oh, don't be silly. I hear that behind his charitable... Oh, I won't! Jock, do you see that lorry? What the fuck's a lorry? Have a little faith. Anyone would think this was my first kidnapping. What on earth will we feed the man? I hadn't even thought of that. He probably eats sushi or quinoa. Is that even how you say it? What if he wants meth? Don't get flustered again, Nigel. You'll have another turn. Glad to... Find out! He's going into the car park. The car park? No worries, mate. Oh, I hope he likes us. How could he not? This lockup you've prepared sounds charming. Just be yourself, Mrs. Thornhill. Oh, my giddy aunt. Everything okay there, Earl Crazy Cakes? My prostate has taken quite a beating. You have to lower the tone. This must be second nature to you, Jock. All those stunts you used to do. And we saw you're up for governor of San Andreas. That's right. In between openly attacking celebrities all over town, I'm running for public office. This level of derangement is he going through the hospital? Oh, my lord! Hold on to your corset! Uh, seems rude not to follow him through the window. Is that a thrill? Ah, uh, would you like me to escort your 
guest of honor to the trunk. Well, if you don't mind. Oh, come here, you. Come on. Come on. Let me meet your biggest fan. Oh, ah. oh, you're fucking crazy. Oh, it's Get off me. Natalie. You're good to go. Ah, a true gentleman. This is so exciting. Nut jobs. Such a fuss, these submeds. Oh, they're not like you or me. Ah, ah apart from you, Jock. <laughs> Would you go and get him one of his favorite pizzas? No. Well, then I don't know what to do with him. I mean, he hasn't eaten for a few days. You've kidnapped a major movie star, okay? Now, you can either leave him somewhere and hope he's been sufficiently scared shitless to stay quiet, or you can send him on the kind of trip he won't come back from. Oh, a trip! Such fun! Oh dear, oh dear, what a palaver this is! Decisions, decisions! If you could just handle this, Jock... Mm. Al is in the boot of the car. You'd be doing us such a favor! I'm really not one for goodbyes. Oh, shit! What are you doing? you from A to B. Uh, a being the trunk of this car and B being a horrific scenario of my choosing. Oh God, please no! I, I, I have money on me. Lots of money. Good to know, well, good to know. I'll be sure to grab that after we're done. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Please, let me go. I thought you were a big, tough action movie guy. Movie critics. Are those crazy old bricks with you? Just me and you, honey bun. Did you have fun with those two? They're harmless, aren't they? They are not harmless. Those fucked up parlor games, the things that woman may be due to her feet. Ah, you lucky boy. Older women are to be cherished, like fine cheese. Sometimes the rind is the best bit. What do you want? Cars? Drugs? Where are art? I, I got shitloads of art. I didn't know you wouldn't want that. You barely know me, Al, and you're already judging my cultural standing. I find that very offensive. There must be something you want. Other than a cheeseburger, a cold beer, and you shutting the hell up? I'm all good. Whatever they're paying you, I'm doubling. They're not paying me anything. Why are you doing this? Well, one, I'm a bad person. Two, I understand that love takes many forms. And three, most importantly, you've seen all our faces. I've made the mistake of not tying up loose ends once before. I won't tell a so, I promise. We both know you'll go straight to the police. I won't. I fucking swear it. I could give you $10,000 right now. Well, here we are, Al. Curtains up. It's time for your final scene. Don't do this! Sick. 
I regret to report the sad passing of Mr. L. Dinopoli. Train accident. Very sudden. I loved that man. We will remember him always. The way he was on TV. Before we met him. Not that any of us met him, of course. You two enjoy the rest of your vacation. Position for you. Hey, 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 hey. What do you think? Nice house, isn't it? You like it? I'm selling it. You want to buy it? I'm downsizing. No, no, I'm good. I used to sell houses like this all the time, okay? I sold dreams, I made lives meaningful. I'm not sure about that. How much you like? You like beautiful things, though, don't you? Sure. Well, I just happen to know the most beautiful woman. You want a bouncy bouncy. Josh. Josh Bernstein. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the Josh Bernstein. Yeah, I never heard of you. Oh, well, I used to be a big deal once in real estate, and so I had my license taken away. My meal ticket. Where's the chick? I'll get to that, I'll get to that. See, it's not really, it's not really money that I'm after here. It's just, it's a little something more awkward than that. Now, Lenny Avery. <laughs> he, he was my best friend. And now, he has taken all of my clients. All of them. Do you think that you could take out all of his for sale signs? That was easy. She's worth it, man. I love you. I love you. I love you. Lenny Avery.
miss me? Like you struggle with simple tasks. You know I mean? Oh, Jesus! Oh, hey! 
That is messed up. Oh, goodness. Oh, oh man.
It's the only way. Oh, there you are. There you are. Tony! Tony, wasn't it? Here I am. You taught that bastard! Yeah, maybe. All right. Well, you earned it. Room 9. She's right up there. Go for it, man. She, she's... she's... <laughs> well, you just knock yourself out. Okay? It is not your fault. Oh, there you are. There you are. Tony! Tony, wasn't it? Here I am. You taught that bastard! Yeah, maybe. All right. Well, you earned it. Room 9. She's right up there. Go for it, man. She, she's... she's... <laughs> well... You just knock yourself out, okay? Hey! Whew. Hope you had a good time up there at home. <laughs> listen, listen, I don't know if you feel up for it or anything, but, uh... Maybe you could go give Lenny a wake-up call. This is what he looks like, right here, okay? Now, I think you can find him. He'll be doing some showings over Rockford Hills today. I'll give him more than a wake-up call. That's it. That's it. I love you. I love you. Love you, man. I love you. is turning into all of a sudden. If it isn't my favorite real estate broker. Tony, buddy, are, are you in Rockford Hills yet? Almost. Good. I, I, I forgot to tell you. Avery drives a green Comet. Nah, don't worry. I'll find him. And after I scare the living shit out of this guy, I get some more, uh, bouncy, right? Oh, oh yeah, of course. But, but, uh, Tony, Tony, listen, I, I kind of told him that you were coming. So much for the element of surprise. I want him to know who's behind the pain that he's about to experience. Uh, listen, I gotta go. Don't let me down, bud. Hey, you! Facelift! Come here a second. Hey! Hey! Aren't you gonna show me that house I can't afford? Where you go? Don't make this any worse than it already is! Oh god, it's definitely happening! What do you want? Did I sell you a property in the North Chumash development? Stay away from Josh's business, or next time I won't be so gentle. Okay, okay, I got it. Just calm down! Nobody needs to get shot. Is that supposed to intimidate me? Cause it's working! It's just till the market bounces back. Tony, Tony, Tony. Oh, you nailed that bastard. All right, go ahead. She's waiting for you, right upstairs, okay? <laughs> bouncy, bouncy. All right. 
Tony, Tony, Tony. Hope you had a good time up there, huh? Yeah, yeah, not bad, not bad. Bit skinny, but not, not bad. Where you know her from? You, uh, you ain't the pimp type. Pimp? No, she's my wife. She's my wife. I left my first wife and kids for her. Best decision I ever made. Oh, fantastic. I mean, she's been the making of me. Whatever gets you off, man. Listen, um, if, if you're up for it, do you remember that house on Eclipse where I was standing out in front of? Yeah. You remember it? Okay, okay. Well, that's, that's my old place, and it, it's in foreclosure. But, well, if something was to, to, to happen in the place, you know, some gas gets spilled, I'd, I'd still get the full value in the insurance. I'm just saying. Yeah, I understand. I love you. <laughs> I'm, I'm real glad that you fucked my wife. Oh, by the way, there's a can of gas in my car that you can take, okay? Gasoline, check. <sighs> Just when I thought this situation couldn't get any more messed up, if I'd known she was his wife, I would... Nah. <laughs> Who am I kidding? Hey, hey, it's me, bud. Listen, there's a gas grill out by the pool. Now, you light that up, and I'll be able to see the fireworks from here. Now, you do this for me, and you will see just how grateful Mrs. Bernstein can really be. Leave it to me. Just feed her up a bit, will ya? How can it be wrong when it feels so right? Time to light the grill. Nice place, but give me the Billingsgate Motel any day. All for you, Mrs. Bernstein. You know, Trevor, you could just go to a prostitute. Attention, I should probably get out of here. So, uh... Josh Bernstein, Realty. I hear that property on Eclipse is hot right now. Excellent. Let me speak to my better half about schedules, and uh, we'll get back to you. Just look 
at my house. He's a goddamn nut job. Calm down, sir. If you can just give me a detailed description. Here he's right there. Tony! Where's your wife? You owe me. Officers, here he is. This man is insane. He destroyed my house. Whoa, hey. No, wait a minute. You asked me. He's he's ruined my life. He's he's a he's a stalker. He's he's an epsilonist. Yeah, get him. Freeze! Hands in the air. Dumb move, Josh. Dash nine dash Zeta dash three X. Wait, 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 stop. What's the problem, home? Wait, carbon based life form, check six feet tall, check slightly excessive adipose tissue. Normal distribution, check. Readings are, readings are, shoot. This little machine is broken again, check. Star date 14-9-305, time is 7.89 past the Manc Meridian. We are clear. Whew. Greetings, CBL, carbon-based life form. Greetings, home. Have you seen them, CBL? Seen who? I don't know. They came to me last week. There was a brilliant joy 
in a terrible confusion. And they were laughing and screaming and crying all at once. And some said, Omega, we come in peace. And others said, we have come to enslave you. We are an infinitely intelligent race of super cosmic beings. And out of the six billion people on this planet, we have chosen you for no good reason. And just then they were about to abduct me and do experiments on me when their ship crashed. Man, you done lost your motherfucking mind. And now I've got to find the pieces. Man, bullshit. Look, look. See this? Hmm? If you see some, if you see some, let me know. Yeah, yeah, okay, I will, man. Resuming data scan. Negative quantum fluctuations. Frequency switch 834 past the ninth. doing hello the final piece I knew you would make it come I have put together this ship to their exact specifications I got every piece you sent through except this man you crazy motherfucker isn't it incredible awesome dog but this motherfucker is small well they're small but very powerful they're far more evolved than we are. Man, I sure hope the fuck so. <sighs> See you on the other side, brother. This I gotta try. Hello, boy. What's that? You said a man is stuck in a tree. And he needs my help? Part of you would rather leave him there because he's a bit of a dick. But you're doing your civic duty. Okay, shit, show me. I've officially lost my damn mind. What, boy? He just jumped out of a fucking helicopter. His parachute fell to open? And now you kind of wish he's missed a tree? But morality is a human construct and you are not hardwired to think that way? I can't believe I'm getting smart talked by a fucking dog. Say what? Wait, you talking about my kind of bitches or yours? This shit is getting weird now, man. Man, you wasn't wrong. Look at this fool. Hey, bro. <laughs> you mind giving me a hand here? Man, that's a cool-ass dog you got, homie. What dog? That dog that saved your, saved your ass, man. Dude, I have no idea what you're talking about right now. What the fuck? Hello? <laughs> when you got a moment. Here My you. bad, dog. <sighs> oh. Oh. 
Oh man, that was wild. <sighs> Woo! See, I'm not an adrenaline junkie. I'm a control junkie. Yeah, that parachuting is intense, man. And hey, if along the way I figure out what it means to be alive, well then, let's just make this a little spiritual and say I'm on a thought journey. <laughs> shit, nothing helps me think clearly like shitting myself while I'm heading towards a certain death, man. Then you're up for it. Not really, dog. Shit, I respect gravity. Oh, I knew you were a pussy. Come on. It's safe, I promise you. Safer than driving a car. The only way it's safer is if you drive a car out of a fucking airplane. Come on! Let's go! Here comes my pilot! Let's next level this shit! Yo, Jeff! You wanna take a bit longer next time, dude? Man, fuck, I gotta learn how to say no! You take the left side, man! Here's a headset to keep in touch with the Dominator, and a parachute to stop you from dying. All aboard? Okay, Jeff, round two. Set her up. Run to that, buddy! Uh, you saw your
Stop talking in pussy metaphors! Do you see the bites yet? Bites? You didn't mention no fucking bites! Shit is insane! Shorted! Closing! Cash out! Fully leveraged! Yo! What's with the early squirt, dude? Okay, last one down the mountain buys the protein shakes! Whatever, bro. I know this bike. I know this body. I was operating at the perimeter of my parameters, and you were being reckless! And now you're having a winch. A what? Listen, meet me by the airport when you're grown up here, alright? Conservative. Man, what the fuck are we doing here? Nothing. 
Okay, a little something that's gonna help me get some tail from those Midwestern ladies that I get to meet online. Let's pretend for a second that you're not so much of a pussy and vamos, as my cleaning lady would say. Uh, just to be clear, uh, I'm not racist. I, I meant that ironically, I, uh, I have a black friend, and uh, I didn't even really notice that you were black, uh, or whatever your people call hey, it. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> Let's roll! Let's roll where? Catch you on the flip side, buddy! Yo, did you see that? Half the airport's on the Dominator's payroll today. Better bond fast with that beauty, cause you two are going tandem. I didn't bring my idiot translator. What the fuck are you talking about? You're driving that hunk of metal and gasoline out of a cargo plane! I'm doing fucking what? person I touch? Uh, yeah, okay, air five then. Parachute? Check. ATV? Check. Big pair of balls? Uh, uh, check. Okay, this is happening. Come on, let's fucking do this. Right on these bad boys. Feel that? Lightning bolt! Zap! You're alive! You know how it feels! <laughs> Man, I know how it feels to ride an ATV out of a damn airplane! Man, how much that shit cost you per second? <laughs> it's relative, bro! How long did it take me to earn the bills? Listen, you go out walking amongst the drones. I'll be on top of the maze bank building with the higher beings. Dominator out! Hey there, pussy. Are you watching? This is safer than crossing the street. <sighs> Shit, bullshit. Well, less people have died doing this than crossing the street. How about that? <laughs> they called me insane when I said sell all your American equities. And now look at this shithole. <sighs> Come on, lady boy. Let's go. Oh! Yeah! History coming at you live! Aim for that flatbed truck down there! Truck? What fucking truck? The one that's accelerating, duh! Ha-ha! <laughs> Sear cocktail with the twist! Shaken, not stirred! Drink it in, big guy! Yeah, I see it! Okay, whatever you say, man! Oh, look who put on his big boy pants this morning, ha <laughs> Yeah, that's what I'm talking about! Dude, 
dudes, that was insane! Hey, Franklin, it's me, Jeff! I'm gonna drop you at the garage on Elgin, okay, Dom? Gangster by night, parachuting pussy by day. Oh, you should make that your log line. Sales, bro! Who's buying? Not me. Overpriced. <laughs> hey, we'll hook up over to the Landak Reservoir, and I might shift your rating from sell to a hold. Done! <laughs> Hey, what's up, my nigga? Good to see you, dawg. That asshole is about to kill himself. Which asshole? Oh, that perfect investor guy. Shit, whatever. You obligated to tell me. You really don't give a shit, but you were just made this way? He's this way? But you off to get cast in a movie role more suitable to your talents? Oh shit, all right, dawg. I'll holler at you, my nigga. He do hey, Don, what the hell you about to do, man? Nothing. It's perfectly safe. <laughs> like last time, huh? Yeah. If I don't hit your vagina on the way down. <sighs> hey, man, I ain't too sure about this one. Man, that motherfucking dog was the real deal. What dog? <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, man. Well, it's your call. <sighs> Dumb idiot. Crazy-ass fucking fool. You've done well for yourself. What? what? What are you doing here? Is that how you greet your mother, Trevor? I, 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 I didn't know they let you out. So you never wrote to me? You never visited? Well, well, I... I bet you never found a girl. Tell me, Trevor. Are you gay? Oh. Is that what this is all about? Oh. No. I wouldn't care. In fact, I've always wanted a gay son. A son who wouldn't forget about his mother. But ma. But ma, but ma, but ma, nothing. Not a peep. I carried you in here. I fed you. I weaned you. 
Now look at you. You always were. An ungrateful, wretched, snivelling sack of shit of a boy. You know it, and I know it. There was always something wrong with you. Ashamed of yourself. Ashamed of me. Of your own mother. I've been here for hours. And have you gotten me a drink? Or a cigarette? Or massage my feet? I'm an old woman. And you, in the prime of life, have you nothing inside? I'm so sorry. I... <laughs> there, there, it's okay, son. <laughs> oh, that's enough. <laughs> Here I am, old and tired and alone. I'm so sorry for everything. Exactly. For everything. I'm an old woman, Trevor. I don't got no insurance. Oh, I got money! I don't want your goddamn money! Is that what you think I am? A prostitute? Still? You're sick. What can I do? I'm in a lot of pain. I need you to get me some more Deludamol. I can do that. A lot of them. A truckload, literally. And not those weedy little ones. The thousand milligram ones. And if you find me a gentleman, well, we both know you need a father figure.
Mom! I got the meds! Mom! Mom! No, mother! Come on, you ugly son of a bitch! You lucky boy. You real lucky. Why? I thought you was a squatch. Nearly pulled a bullet in you. Made my goddamn fortune. A what? A Sasquatch! Man, you believe in that bullshit? I spent eight years combing these woods. I've seen one. Hundreds of times. I just never got a clear shot. Here! Look at this. It's a fresh sketch. Man, you just gonna carry that shit loose in your pocket like that? Always. Hold on. Ah, you shot me, you crazy looking fuck! Damn! Ah. I could have sworn. They're clever bastards. Some of them wear orange so that people will think they're hunters. Let's go this way. Sasquatches, huh? A picture would be good. A stuffed head, even better. Scat sight's down there in the valley there. I'm gonna cover these cliffs. Been hunting that beast longer than you'll ever know, boy. You just keep an ear out for them terrible howls. When I hear them, I know either you found them or he's found you. What the hell was that? Damn, he's still going? This motherfucker run like a homie. Come on, where you at? Lost him again. <clears throat> Fuck, I thought I had. Damn. 
Damn, where'd he go? So close. Shoot me, human. I just did. Shoot me, human. Make it stop. I just shot your ass and stop. I'm the last of my kind. Yeah, evolution is a bit. We've lived in these woods a thousand years. Man, wait a second. Is this a fucking mask? Make it stop, human. Man, shut the fuck up with that bullshit. What the fuck is wrong with you running around the woods in a costume? I'm the last of my kind. You fucking freak. Hey, I'm no freak. It's perfectly normal to admit to being aroused role-playing dressed as a fantastical beast. What? What the fuck was that? What do you want it to be? Man, go fuck yourself, man. <laughs> 